Hello and welcome, I'm your host, Lazvar. This is, um, well, I, I assume you can read, and you can see that it says, T-Bird and Throttle. If for some reason you can't actually see the picture, you're just listening to this. It's T-Bird and Throttle. Issue zero. One. And two. You know, I remember when numbering started with one. That was back in the day. That was back before... Uh, C programmers took over the world, and we started numbering everything from zero. Those were the old days. What is T-Bird and Throttle? It's a superhero comic. Can you tell? You can tell. Uh, so issue zero is kind of like the start of the story. Why this wasn't number one, I'm not really sure, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we find out in this world, superheroes uh, get comic books made about them kind of a big deal to have a comic book he's ebert has one we also learn um you know his wife's got a little uh something something going on on the side you know this is going to end badly right in issue zero they uh go fight this giant monster that's his partner throttle the art style is very stylized very angular uh, but it's fun it's fun i could see this being animated pretty easily like when i'm looking at this stuff i can see the motion in it. Uh, there's a very good strategic use of action lines to emphasize violence and motion and stuff in this. A lot of fun. Uh, he gets to uh, inside of this giant tentacle blobby monster thing they're fighting and there's a face in there. It's about in gibberish. There might have Uo, Go, and Zo. And he's just uh, he's just gibbering all this crazy nonsense. And when he gets done uh, something happens, the ray gun goes pew! And by ray gun, I mean the engine in his chest goes pew! This is the first time we've seen it in the comic. Kills the monster. Okay, so that's how the story starts. Let me flip in here. We see some happy days. Boom! Unhappy days. Immediately thereafter. All his glory was fleeting. Life's falling apart. And uh, probably the most indicative thing going on here is uh, he's at this convention, sitting all alone with uh, his manager. Oof. Whereas these noobs over here are uh, getting all the girls. Uh, he gets razzed. He gets uh, recruited to go work for that dude. He doesn't look very trustworthy, does he? They're like, we want to send you to space. And meanwhile, the story's kind of cutting back and forth. There's uh, a lot of flashback and flashing back to the present. Boom, 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 kind of going on. But we see how he gets his powers. Uh, there are moon men in this universe, a fact which amuses the heck out of me. It's a lot of fun. Really, it's a lot of fun. For a book about a guy, supposedly a disgraced hero and stuff, and is not having the best time of his life... It really was a lot of fun. As the story goes on, we meet uh, <laughs> multiple people that want to do away with him. Uh, from uh, the Moon Men, to uh, a supervillain, to other people who I'm not going to name. Like We see like everybody that wants a piece of him. And then they think they're going to get it. Uh, his daughter just started like high, public high school, and she has a bad day. Oh, because there's a comic book. Hold on. Apparently, not only do they make comic books, but they make tabloid comic books. And so that's out everywhere. From Gruesome Comics. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go meet Gruesome. Now, the first time we see Gruesome... Where is he at? Uh, I'm never going to find it. I'm never going to find it. First time we see Gruesome... Uh, and this isn't the first time. This is towards the end. The first time we've seen him, he's got, like, some angular features. I thought he was one of the moon men. Turns out uh, I wasn't really right about that. Man, look at this art. Is this sweet or what? Like, it's just colorful. It pops. It's got motion. Uh, the There's a motion. There's dealing. Like, it's all here. This is good stuff. Uh, one thing I did like, I thought was kind of fun, is the uh, signature, right? So, it's in blue here. What's the kind of predominant color scheme on this? See? The highlights are all in blue. Signature's in blue. 
Over here, it's in red. It blends in with the poster. Then over here, it's in kind of like silver, which stands out off of all the kind of dark grays and stuff that are covering this. Plus, his chest is reflective right there. So, boop, see? Uh, so, we learned how he gets his powers. He has some bad days. He hook, he, Well, he doesn't hook up with her, but he meets up with Throttle, his sidekick again. Uh, they talk about the past, the present, and he makes some fateful decisions. His daughter meets somebody at school. Uh, this doesn't really bear fruit yet, but I have a feeling it's going to tie into the overall plot line. What the supervillain guy... Well, I'm calling him supervillain. He may not be. The supervillain guy Gruesome is doing. I hope I haven't spoiled too much. Like, I've been trying to avoid specifics about events, uh, but the feelings that he's going through feel genuine. Like, he's reacting like an actual human being instead of a soulless uh, corporate creation. You know, he has problems. His daughter has problems. There, there was a tragedy. I mean, you notice, like, I only mentioned the wife, like, the one time, right? And it's like, oh, she's got a little something going on on the side. Infer what you will. The story, kind of, it feels kind of weird because he doesn't really have the chance in the present yet to really be, like, heroic. Like, that happens in issue zero, but it doesn't happen here, and it doesn't happen here. And so it feels kind of odd uh, from that perspective, you know? But he's kind of like a penitent in these two issues, you know, a flagellant. He's busy, like, whipping and scourging himself over things that have happened in the past, over the broken relationship with his daughter, over the lack of success in his career, uh, his use of powers, like all that kind of stuff. So if you haven't uh, checked out T-Bird and Throttle, check it out. It's uh, There was an ad here. Oh, yeah. There's the anti-throttle symbol. Kind of cool. There was a thing here that said when the story be continued. Yeah. So you can look for that in late 2019. As for me, I'm having a very hard time waiting that long because I am ready to read it right now. Let's arrange this kind of like maybe that. That looks kind of cool. You all have a great day. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're already subscribed, check again and make sure you still are. Click that bell for notifications if you want them. Uh, if uh, you want to check out some social media, there's some links down below. And uh, there should be some stuff here on the screen too. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Chair, man. I got a squeak chair.